hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will see what to look for in a niche while selecting a niche it is important you should not spend too much time on this many people over analyze and get stuck here don't let analysis paralysis keep you from getting this step completed quickly you can make a steady income in just about any niche you choose as long as it satisfies a few key rules of thumb rule number 1 the niche should have scores upon scores of products being sold on amazon.com most of these products should be selling for at least $50 and at least a handful of these should have more than 50 4 and 5 star reviews as well you do not want to select a niche that has no products being sold on amazon but these days just about any niche you can think of has products being sold on amazon so this is really something not to worry about it is also essential that the niche have at least a few products that are being sold for more than $50 on Amazon if not you might have a hard time making more than $500 or $1000 a month in revenues from the site Amazon pays a commission of around 1% to 5% for each product that you sell it would be near impossible to build a site that can make more than a thousand dollar in commission every month if all of the products you are promoting on the site cost five dollars or less so you want most of the products in the niche to be at least fifty dollars or more a hundred dollars would be even better but you do not want to take this too far and try to build a site solely around thousand dollar plus products like a site promoting super high end jewelry those products do not sell in large numbers like 50 and 100 dollars product do you would also want to consider how many reviews the best seller in the niche have you want to see at least 50 to 100 reviews more the merrier why is this important because you want to get a rough estimate of what the demand for these products are and how many units might be selling in any given time period not everyone who buys a product leaves a review only a tiny fraction of buyers actually take the time to write a review and people who had a bad buying experience are far more likely to leave a negative review while most people who like the product never write a review so if a product has 50 or 100 or more very positive reviews it would mean people are buying it and if a product has at least 100 reviews and most of them are 4 stars or 5 stars it certainly means it is selling well and people are very happy with it and happy customer will come back and buy more products from your side so rule number 2 you should be comfortable with working in the niche for at least 3 to 4 months you do not have to be an expert in a niche or be very passionate about it while expertise and passion would definitely help they are not necessary it is all right if you are comfortable working in the niche for at least 3 to 4 months which is how long it would take you to build a 50 to 100 pages site and start generating a steady income from it assuming you will be writing all of the content do not worry if you do not know much about the niche at this stage you can always research and learn all that you need to create a website in any niche so for the next rule the niche should be big enough to support a site that at least 50 to 100 pages in a size these days bigger authority sites tend to do a better in google 
your site should be at least 50 to 100 pages in size when you are done with that one common mistake many do is selecting a niche that is just too small you would be hard pressed to build a hundred page site about just golf balls under ten dollars on the other hand golf balls would be great as a niche you will be able to find lots of products to sell and can easily build a hundred page websites these are the only three rules that you need to select a niche many people over complicate this simple process and take days or even weeks to select a niche that kind of effort is not necessary as an amazon affiliate you will be building several websites in various niches so it's not like there are only a few good niches out there and you have to find the best of them in truth there are literally millions of niches you can build profitable websites in and all you need to do is choose one and get going this is possibly the single biggest mistake beginners make while selecting a niche they do not check how the demand for products in the niche varies over a year you do not want to spend three or four months working on a site that generates revenues for only two months in a year that can be very demoralizing you want to create niche sites that generate revenues all year around demand for certain goods and services vary over a year according to the season for instance if you are selling snow shovels you know for certain that the demand is going to peak in winter and fall to near zero over the summer months likewise swimwear and bathing suits sell very well in summer and the demand falls steeply come winter and like products uh, regarding to halloween and etc sell extremely well in september and will most likely have near zero demand in say uh, february it's the same with several other niches as well demand peaks only during certain months of the year and drops to near zero during the other months if you do not take the time to analyze if such demand pattern exists in your niche then you might be in for an unpleasant surprise if after building out your site you discover you missed a peak buying season by a month and you will have to wait for 9 to 10 months before demand picks up again no not every niche is seasonal but some are designer clothing maybe computer accessories high end cosmetics and electronics and many other products that sells all year round if you build sites in these niches you can expect a steady stream of sales every month all year around on the other hand like prom dresses swimwear heavy coats sweaters etc and the like these products are just seasonal the demand peaked for maybe one or two months and afterward the demand is flat some folks are completely unaware of the seasonal nature of a niche they picked do the keyword research during the peak buying season for the niche build out their site build a lot of links and even rank for the phrases they wanted to rank for when they initially started out and then they discover their site is getting to no traffic that certainly is not a pleasant situation to be in which is why you need to take the time to figure out if a certain niche you happen to choose is seasonal or not in the next videos we will see exactly how to do this Thanks for watching.